Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to create an augmented reality app like this where I am loading this 3D model dynamically into our app. So let's start. Give a name to your app and here make sure to select API 24, Android 7 or above. And Android Studio version should also be 3.1 or higher than that for adding AR. First of all, go to Android Manifest.xml file under Manifest folder. And this will give internet permission to our app so that we can load any 3D model from any URL. Next, we need camera permission to see the 3D model on camera view. Also requires camera AR features. Now adding this metadata because our app needs Google Play services for AR. Now go to build.gradle of app and add this scene from UX library so that we can display 3D scenes in AR. Now add this assets library to load 3D model dynamically. Also, I am not using the latest libraries because I found some issues on latest libraries. Just add these lines to support Java which is actually required for Sceneform library. Now click on Sync Now. Under layout folder, go to activity main.xml file. Change it to relative layout. Add this fragment which is provided by our Sceneform UX library. Now go to main activity. and add variable for AR fragment. You can press Alt plus Enter to import. And now model renderable. Again press Alt Enter. We need URL of the 3D model. You can download model from Poly and create your own URL. Here you can download 3D model which is in GLTF format. You can use any GLTF or any GLV file for the 3D model. I already have one URL. This is dot glv file of the 3d model so i'm just copying it here initialize the fragment i mean get the fragment using the id which is named as fragment here again press alt enter to make it simple, I have divided it into three methods. Let's create the first method called setup model.
pass url of the 3d model our render source is of type glb if you use gltf file select gltf You can change size of the model. I have reduced the size little. And the result is received in then accept method. And this is to display error message if any error occurs. So this method we created to create a renderable in which model and related resources will get loaded in the background. Now let's add another method. Let's write method name as setup plane. Press alt enter or just write it manually. Now in this method set on tap listener is used to check if the user has tapped on the screen then it returns us hit result so using this we will get anchor node i mean some position to place 3d model in our ar world From here we are calling the third method create model and passing this anchor node. Transformable node to allow users to transform, drag or scale the 3D model. In this method finally we are going to write the code to add this anchor node I mean the position to the 3D model renderable which we created above in the first method. So everything is added now let's have a look we can say we have initialized the fragment next we loaded a model and then received the anchor node or position where user has tapped on the screen then finally attached the model to the node now we are done let's run this app when you find a plane and tapped on your screen you will see this 3d model i hope this tutorial is helpful if there's any question ask me in the comment section thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.